Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 pre-order video to buy new books pre-order this weekend only, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday till 9 p.m. Eastern. This is a pretty big pre-order weekend, guys. There's a couple books on here I'm super excited about. Let's get right to it. Okay guys, I'm filming this video early because I'm super busy over here with the my mom's surgery and all the other things going on right now, um, but everything will be available Friday, noon Eastern, wait, is that right? No, noon Pacific at my store um, through the weekend and enjoy. There's a lot of stuff. So let's, let's start off with talking about some covers. Okay. Barbaric, Born in Blood, number three, the Corinne Howell cover. There's two different ones. They're expensive. Batman, Superman, World's Finest, number 29, cover B by Barons. Catwoman, number 67, cover B by Lynn. And cover C by Via Lobos. Crisis on Infinite Earths, number four, Fax Edition Foil. Destro, number two, cover B. Greaser, Gemini Blues, number one, the one in five, Dan Pinocian. High on Life, number two, the FOC variant. John Constantine, Hellblazer, Dead in America, number seven, cover A. Master of the Universe, Revolution, number three, cover A. Nightwing, number 116, the one in 25. Redcoat, number four, cover B. Red Sonia, 2023, number 12, cover B by Barons. Something is Killing the Children, number 39, cover B by Frizen. And the FOC reveal. Superman 16 cover B by Nathan Zerdi. And cover D by Via Lobos. And you have the uh, spotlight wraparound cover. Thundercats number 6 cover E by Tao. Turtles black, white, and green number 3 cover A by Jock. You and I number 6 cover C by Mike Choi. Ultimate Black Panther number 6. The Felipe Massafera variant and the Boss Logic. Vengeance of Moon Knight, number seven, the Mike Mayhew cover. Venom Separation Anxiety, number three, the one in 25. That Moon Knight was a one in 25, too. And the Paolo Sequeira homage cover. Wolverine Blood Hunt, number four. Wonder Woman 11 cover B by Tedesco. And the Spotlight character cover. Okay. We're going to get into this in a second, but let me just tell you about some number ones. Chilling Adventure, Truth or Dare, one shot. Elric, the Necromancer, number one. Eternal Warriors, Last Ride of Mortals, number one. Marvel Zero, number one, is a compilation of all the free comic book days, the, the really good ones. And Prodigy, Slaves of Mars, number one. I don't know if you guys remember Prodigy from years back, but that was a good read. That was a really good read. All right, couple notables. Star Wars The High Republic Adventures Phase 3, number 8, cover A. And cover B. It says everything's about to change. It could be a, a key book. And two number ones that I'm really excited about. First of all, Flash Gordon, number 1, cover A. And I love the one in 20, Dan Pinocean. That brings me back right there. But yeah, Flash Gordon starting up. And which blade is back? Number 1, cover A. Here's the one in 10. Here's the one in 50 by J. Scott Campbell. And the one in 100 by Bill Sinkovich. Yeah, Witchblade, that's going to be cool, man. Okay, let's get into your top 10. Okay, Number 10 is Deadpool and Wolverine World War III. Number 3, movie variant. And the Lucas Wernick Stormbreaker variant. That's a pretty fun read. I think Deadpool's going to... like. I'm not exactly sure, but I think there's an end of Deadpool. Number nine is NYX number one. Here's the Pablo Villalobos variant. And the Art Germ. Now, there's a bunch of variants, but that Art Germ is sick. This is NYX. This isn't a book about X-Men. This is a book about mutants living past the end of their world and into a new beginning. Number eight, Captain America number 11, the regular cover. The David Nakayama. 
the McGiven Wolverine and Deadpool extraction variant. This I'll get to this. Steve Rogers find the last change agent, someone who can change the direction of the world forever by dying. And as Steve wrestles with the mortality of this task, a member of the inner circle is moving to betray him. Plus, part two of the Deadpool Wolverine weapon extraction. So part one was last week in the Incredible Hulk 14. Part two is in this book. Number seven is Dark Knight to Steal All Winter, number one. Cover A. Cover B by Zafino. Cover C. There's a foil. And there's a Lucio. The legendary assassin Deathstroke stalks a frozen wasteland, killing for coin among a nation of ever-warring Jarls. But when our murderer for hire finds himself cast in the role of the reluctant guardian, will he fight to the end? The icy curse destroy his land, or will he be uh, consumed by the sins of his own dark past? The red, hot, dark night to steal epic expands into this bone-chilling new territories. Could be a fun read, something different. Number six. Star Wars Darth Vader number 48. Luke joins the dark side. Okay. That's all I have to say. Number five is Venom vs. Reborn number two, regular cover, and the Chew Symbiote. Now, I saw some comments about no one's getting back on Venom vs. and stuff like that. I get it. This is different. This book is different. This is like, well, the number one was good. So, I don't know. You might rethink that, you guys, if you're not interested in the whole Venom vs. thing. We're going to have new appearances in this, of course, but it reads different, and I enjoyed it. So there's going to be some, a new appearance in this, guys. Probably two new appearances. Number four is Annihilation 2099, number four. Regular and the Lashley cover and the one in 25. His life cut short, Mephisto offers Jonah Marlowe a deal. More time among the living in return for his soul. Now he collects souls for his master as a silver surfer of 2099. So it should be pretty good. Okay. You guys, some of you guys are going to go crazy about this. Some of you aren't. And let me just tell you right now, this is going to be my favorite book anyway. Number three is Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number eight, Facts Edition Foil. I love that book. I buy them whenever I can, the real ones. Uh, I just, I love that book. I'm surrounded by symbiote stuff. I love that book in particular. And I can just imagine it in foil. I think it's going to be super sick. I don't care what anyone says. I'm buying it. Number two is Blood Hunt Red Band number five. Dr. Singe is presented with a dread bargain to gain a chance to save the world. The Avengers ride into battle they cannot win. The dead battle the undead across the globe. Will it be enough? Will the world be saved? And how will it be changed if it is? Featuring a dramatic shift for the future of the Marvel Universe. Okay, Blood Hunt's been pretty good. And with Blood Hunt ending, we're starting with a new one. Number one is Venom Wars number one. This is going to stretch all over the place. That's what she said. Dylan, Eddie, fighting for the for Venom or something. Uh, this is It's been leading to this. This is like a summer thing here, guys. So, last Venom standing. The Venom symbiote has bonded with both Eddie Brock and his son Dylan at different points. Now, both Brocks are going head-to-head to, -to, -head to, uh, to, to, well, head-to-head. -to -head. That's funny. Determined to be the one. True Venom. Father versus son in a showdown of showdowns that threatens to tear the world. It's it's all spelled wrong. It's so weird. Anyway, Al Ewing and Coelho are doing this, guys. Al Ewing and Coelho. So, there are a bunch of covers for that. You can check the store, economicsandcomics.com, tomorrow to see them all. There's foils. There's dope-ass covers. There's even a negative. I don't even know what that looks like yet. Um, thank you guys so much. I wanted to get this out early so you could study. <laughs> um, we'll be back with our Wednesday shows, hopefully in a couple weeks, the live ones. But until now, I'm going to get you this video. Please, order from my store if you'd like, economicsandcomics.com, and, comics .com, and uh, enjoy your weekend. Thank you.